So in today's video, I'm going to share with you five people or things that actually I look at to help me solve artistic difficulties. So stick around. So we've all been there at one time or another. We're creating the artwork, we have a nice creative flow, and then boom, everything just kind of falls flat or flat lines. And there's not much we can actually do until we reintroduce something into ourselves in order to create that, uh, create that creative flow again. So for me, um, I go to look at solving these problems very quickly. And there's a few people and things that I look back into that actually help correct or reestablish that mindset in order to continue my work progress. So my first person that I'm going to introduce is, you guys might already know, I'm a big fan of Jeff Maricola, fantasy artist. And what I enjoy about his work the most is that he has this life experience into the creation of his work. And it's something I picked out I'm right at the beginning. And if you get a chance, you can go visit jeffmaricola.com. He also has a YouTube channel. Please check that out. So my number two pick is actually two people. And the first one I want to acknowledge is Boris Vallejo. And the second is Julie Bell. Now I'm not going to separate the two right now, um, I'll let you guys do that yourself when you actually go and study some of the work. But the commonalities is what I want to bring together into actually helping me solve some, maybe some technical issues when it comes to creating skin uh, in oil painting and developing texture and so forth. Now if you have a chance to go to the website you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I believe it's imaginistics.com. Don't quote me quite on that, but I'll find the right link and I'll put it down below after the video is completed. Uh, but when you get a chance to study some of these modern masters and some of the modern techniques that they use, um, they might be beneficial to helping you develop your work as well too. So that's my tip number two, or that's my second choice for number two. My number three is actually looking at the old masters and I'm talking about the old Renaissance people like Rembrandt, um, believe it or not, uh, Michelangelo uh, for the sculptural work that he does. A lot of my work deals with uh, incorporating the physique and uh, so I look for those type of references. Uh, there's another Italian painter right now who does modern technique, his name is uh, Roberto uh, Ferrari or Ferrari, if I'm pronouncing that right, I will link his website down below. It's a little difficult to read through his website because it's in Italian, it's in their language, 
um, and I don't I haven't found an English translation yet for it but I sure love his work just by just by looking and studying at it so that's a great reference there so he works from a, uh, he's inspired from a lot of those old Renaissance artists uh, Leonardo da Vinci was another one uh, that I really enjoyed uh, looking at and studying some of his uh, progress uh, not only was he a painter but um, he was an inventor as well too and uh, you never know when you're going to pull that inspiration from someone else or somewhere else. My number four is um, looking at athletes, uh, more specifically in the bodybuilding and the fitness industry. Uh, these are people that have developed a mindset to create their physiques to the point that they're some of the best built human beings in the world. And it's not so much as the physique and the aesthetic look that they produce. I know I know how it feels. I can connect to what they do. Being a former uh, competitor and uh, today still a practicing bodybuilder, I can relate to the amount of determination, the work, the preparation, and the storytelling. It's the storytelling within itself, within the bodybuilding development. It's the storytelling within the bodybuilding development that inspires me. So I will go back and I'll watch some of these old, uh, from the 1977, for example, Pumping Iron. For example, they have Generation Iron and Generation Iron 2 movie now with Phil Heath and Kai Greene, uh, Mr. Olympia Dornier, Jake Kyler. Uh, some of these gentlemen have just taken their physiques to the extreme uh, where they're just they became masters at what they do and so the storytelling in there is what really drives me the most and I'm able to take little bits and pieces of that and apply it into the work and development I do so last but not least my number five and you might not expect this coming from me or maybe you do I don't know <laughs> so my number five is actually watching anime and my favorite anime right now is Dragon Ball Super. I grew up watching that cartoon on Saturday mornings. I've been through Dragon Ball, I've been through Dragon Ball Z and now I'm into Dragon Ball Super and holy <laughs> it gets me excited. I am pumped and it's just, oh, it's just uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Feels like I'm competing myself again in a martial arts tournament. It's just it brings me that that energy connection to uh, to creating what I love to do best, and it feels good. And there's a few others. There's a few others that I like watching. I like watching the Marvel cartoons that are up today. The movies. Uh, you got the DC. I'm a Marvel and DC fan. I like both. Okay. <laughs> Um, back to the anime, uh, Norato uh, Uzumaki in uh, Norato Shippuden. Uh, I finished that series, I'm now on to the Next Generation series, uh, which is great. Uh, there's a few other animations that I really enjoy. And, uh, oh, an attack, I believe it's Attack on Titan. That's, uh, holy crap, that stuff is pretty scary there. <laughs> But that's another one I really enjoy. So I do look at different forms of art and, in, and uh, to get inspiration from and to help solve problems. To help solve problems in creating what I want to create. So those are my top five guys and I want to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. I want you to think of me perhaps five, maybe more that you would like to share with other art enthusiasts and, uh, and tell that story and hopefully inspire others, all right? And before I say goodbye, there's one thing I wanna say. Always, always be an art enthusiast. Have a good night, guys.